Let's take you to Atlanta, where just moments ago, Sidney Powell, one of the 19 co-defendants in the Trump election case in Fulton County, pleaded guilty. This is just one day before jury selection was set to begin in her trial. So I want to bring in our senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett, as well as MSNBC legal analyst, Lisa Rubin. Laura, this is big news. What do we know? Guys, this is enormously significant. Sidney Powell, one of Donald Trump's former, attorney, former attorneys, excuse me, has agreed to plead guilty They're just moments ago there in Georgia. I'm not sure if we have the video yet. But remember, she is part of the group um, that was alleged to have participated in this conspiracy to subvert the election, specifically as it relates to overturning the election results in Georgia. She had been facing a number of different felony counts. You can see there um, she's that's her on the screen there. She um, was obviously one of the top people who was sort of in and around those conversations, uh, along with several other attorneys. In, there you can see some other facts there in terms of other ways that she was trying to subvert the election. Now, we don't, I don't think, have exactly what she's decided to be guilty to. We'll obviously work to get that. Um, but as part of this deal, the most significant thing, guys, is that she has actually agreed to testify against other people, which is obviously devastating news to the former president and the other co-defendants. So she could plead guilty to one or all of the counts. We don't know, right? Well, I need to see the actual I mean, she papers. Could but yeah, conceivably. and in most cases like this, you agree to plead guilty to some lesser included offenses. You're not pleading guilty to everything right. that they charge you with. So we need to see the actual papers so I can see exactly what she's agreed to plead guilty to. But regardless, guys, as we speak. This, is, this is really significant. This is a person who knows a lot and has a very big story to tell. Well, she was one of those, along with Rudy Giuliani, who had been going around really throughout the country after the election talking about what was unsubstantiated fraud. And they filed multiple things in multiple courts that were all essentially dismissed because of lack of evidence. And so I think that's where a lot of people will remember seeing her as we are discussing what happened right after the election. Let's get Lisa Rubin in here. I just want to get your first quick thoughts about this big development, Lisa. I agree with Laura. This is absolutely huge. And before I joined you, Anna and Jose, I did have an opportunity to watch over YouTube some of the plea allocution hearing before Judge Scott McAfee in Fulton County Superior Court. What it looks like is that Sidney Powell has now pled guilty to six counts of conspiracy to commit interference with the performance of election duties. You'll remember that the Fulton County indictment largely charges Sidney Powell in respect of her role to overturn results in Coffee County, Georgia, including by dismantling the voting machines in that county, both leading up to January 6th, but as importantly, after January 6th, in part because there were folks in and around former President Trump who believed that if they could just get into the voting machines, they could give that information to folks in other counties and other states around the country and continue to undermine the legitimacy of the 2020 election, even after the transfer of power. We knew that there was a possibility that Sidney Powell would plead guilty after we had the first plea in this case from Scott Hall. He is a defendant or was a defendant in this case against whom the charges were entirely overlapping with respect to those against Sidney Powell. So at the time, Laura and I and others said, hey, now that Scott Hall has pled out, look for Sidney Powell to be the next domino that falls. Of course, the value of Sidney Powell, as Laura mentioned, is her testimony against others. And that includes not only Rudy Giuliani, but former President Trump himself. That will largely be her utility here. And she has confirmed on the record that she will testify truthfully and accurately to anything that the Fulton County District Attorney's Office asks of her, Anna and Jose.